Hi guys, it's Jessie Holton here, your Stamping Up Demonstrator for Australia, jessieholton.com. Thanks for joining me for another live crafting video. I'm excited because I've got a whole bunch of the Everything is Rosie medley cards to make. And I've gotten started on some of them. Hi Angie, how are you going gorgeous? Um, so, hi Missy, how are you? Hi Beck. Oh, yay, everybody's jumping on. <laughs> Thank you, Angie. I appreciate it. Uh, so, I've got about 70 of these cards that I'm going to make. So, I'm not going to make all of them with you, but I thought I'd jump on and make a couple with you. And then, um, just show you what I've been doing. <laughs> so, let's flip you around and get started. I almost hit the finish, finish button. That wouldn't be too clever, would it? Oh, hang on. Let me get rid of this cord. There we go. How messy is my mat looking? Oh my gosh. It's a good thing it's the end of the month. <laughs> so, this is also Ryan has been drawing on here. He likes to get my fine lines and bang them until they go flat. Damn children. <laughs> so, I have a stack. <laughs> and, oh, let me get this out of the way. I have a little tin full of pretty beautiful little things that have been stamped and die cut. And flowers and leaves and little flowers. And then this pretty little duvalaki. Which is quite delicate. Anywho. Oh, and then there's some of these little ones as well. They're a bit cute. Can you see the shimmer paint on my hands? <laughs> okay, so. I've got my stack of DSP. And I have cut it at 14.5 down one side. And then cut at 3 inches in the middle. So... Then I get all of these beautiful little bits that are just ready and wanting to be stuck down. Hi Kylie! Oh, who else have I missed? Hi Karma! What's that? Stamp Camp! Yeah! <laughs> Stamp Camp is... well the accommodation part is sold out. I'm still chatting to a couple of girls who might join us just on the day pass because they are local, so they don't need to stay in the accommodation, but they might still come and craft with us. So that would be lovely. Have a couple extras on board. And uh, then the new stamp camp, <laughs> the stamp camp is sold out, um, unless you're local, unless you want to do a day pass. Um, but the new stamp camp is in January 2020 and I am taking bookings and there's, I'm so chuffed because there's already a few people that have signed up for that. So thank you very much. I do appreciate your support. So I've been having a little bit of fun this morning. I have, you guys have seen my spray box before. Yeah, it's just basically one of my, um, stamping up delivery boxes and I have a big, um, I have a big spray bottle <laughs> and inside, this is how I created all of these card fronts, I don't know if you guys can see, doesn't it come up beautiful? So I've made my normal cardstock into shimmer cardstock. Ah, oh, thanks Angie, thanks Missy, yeah it's a lot of fun. Yes, Angie is a stamp camp fanatic, she's coming along. She loves it. So um, this is the uh, copper, actually, that is now on the clearance rack. But I had a whole bunch of it still left in here, so I thought I might as well use it. Um, but basically I've, I've put the whole thing of copper in there, and then I've mixed it with um, isocol, rubbing alcohol. And when you spray it, I'll get my bowl. Um, I'll show you because it's just fun. 
It's just fun. And see, look at my box. How beautiful is my box? <laughs> so, you get your card stock. And I'm going to flip this bit up so that I don't spray my desk. Give your bottle a good shake because they separate. Hi, Wendy. And you can do this in the spritz. You can do a smaller version of this in the spritzes. Um, but, you know, I like to make a lot of bulk cards, so I just do up big bits. So, how cool is this? You ready? Normal. This is Berry Burst cardstock. There we go. That's a bit more copper. I didn't give it a good enough shake. <laughs> but how cool is that? And so... All the isocol dries really fast because it's rubbing alcohol, right? So give it a second. It does smell a little bit. That's the only thing. It's got that rubbing alcohol smell to it. But how beautiful is that? And these darker bits, they'll dry. They'll dry and they'll just go to the copper. So you can do this with the pink shimmer paint that is in the Everything is Rosy kit as well. And that was what I was going to use on these cards, but I'm too much of a tight ass to throw this out. <laughs> so that's cool. And how cool is my little spraying box, right? It's all pretty. <laughs> so it does go everywhere though, so you do need to have a little sort of protective surface to keep... To keep it in and and I find that it drips it might just be my spray bottle as well but anywho fun right and every single card is different which is nice as well so that's how I have got this and because this is rose gold and copper and rose gold are very similar so goes fine don't you think so let's knock up some of these cards uh, so this is the stamp set and it's got some really beautiful fonts in it really nice sayings I love this don't let worry spoil your happy and time to celebrate all the lovely things in life starting with you I do really enjoy my soppy soppy sentiments soppy sentiment Jessie <laughs> so I've stamped all of these and die cut them and um, a tip for when you are bulk card making is to do all of your bits together. So cut all your cardstock at once, cut all your die cutting at once, cut all your DSP at once, you know, just helps get everything going. So I am going to, I'll move this out of the way. Get a little production line going. I've got my twine in there from class the other day. We made this at class. Some of these. Anyway, so I'm going to cut off a little. That'll do. And one of my favourite things to do with ribbon is staple it. Because I hate... I hate it when the glue shows through. <laughs> Check out my nail. <laughs> Can you see my nail? I've got copper, <laughs> copper spritz on my nail. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Angie. So, um, you can definitely reuse those little bits. Waste not, want not, hey. <laughs> oh, look how well I've cut that length. Oh, just too good. Just too good. Alright, so hold it on there straight. Get the stapler. And I usually just staple it twice. And especially if you're going to... Um, have the staples showing 
then a really cute way to do it is just sort of on a bit of an angle and we'll, we'll cover this up but if you put it on an angle and then put them close together you know if you had it showing then that that still looks really cute it looks like an embellishment rather than holding the ribbon on <laughs> but anyway so now the ribbon's attached and we can just glue this on and put the sentiment over the top of those staples to cover it up and you've got a lovely soft piece of ribbon there and yeah it's loose but it's going to stay in place and then it doesn't have the glue showing through it so you know just the overall end result is a bit nicer glue's running out grab one of my pieces of cardstock from earlier and they really are they're so pretty We've got some flowers here from um, the embellishments that come with the pack. You get all of these sheets. Oh. Get all of these sheets of embellishments, and you just you just pop out the bits that you want to use. And they're all good to go. So, whoops! What did I do? I've got that there. And might use that one and find some blue ink, even my ink. <laughs> my ink is all pretty as well. Look at all of that copper on it. <laughs> And I think I'll use the Don't Let Worry Spoil Your Happy because that is just such a cute sentiment. I think I'll pop that like that. That looks cute, doesn't it? Alright, so we'll stick some dimensionals on there. like so all right and then with this one i'm just going to put a dimensional up this end and i'm going to use a little bit of glue on that end and then we're just gonna pop that there so that way we're not doubling up on the dimensionals on this side. This side still held up, the side will stay in place because it's glued onto this and this is propped up. So And 
then we'll do a little bit of stamping on the inside. I think we'll use that other, what have we got? We'll use this one. Actually, this is what Jenny, Jenny's combination from class the other day. She made a beautiful card for her friend. And you know, it really does make the world a difference when you receive something beautiful like this. When you, you're going through a hard time, it does lift your spirits. So if you make cards, definitely make sure that you pop them in the post and send them out and brighten someone's day. There we go, and we'll do some... leaves and I had a little flower here that can go on a little bit of bling on the inside never did any harm did it how's that is that better for light not too glary I hope on a little bit crooked oh, oh. but it doesn't matter still a very pretty card isn't it and let's see if I can find some of these uh, and this is what I made for the girls in my class and I think I did show it on my previous um, video with you guys but this is the stamped out versions of the colors so these there is only two colors in the designer series paper it's Mel and Mambo and Night of Navy and this is the stamped out versions of those colours. So they're the colours that you get um, with the, the lighter pinks and the lighter blues. It's just stamped out versions of these colours. Thank you very much, Karma. Thank you, Missy. Hi, Jenny. How are you going, gorgeous? How's Mike? <laughs> and beautiful little Daisy. <laughs> How's little Daisy? Stuff Mike, tell me about the dog. <laughs> so these little um, mirror embellishments, they do have a little... I don't know if you guys can see. They've got a little plastic coating on them. There we go. So just make sure you take that off and it just just protects the little mirror embellishment and keeps it nice and uh, scratch free you're cold <laughs> sorry mike <laughs> it is a bit chilly isn't it jeez the weather has certainly gone downhill so just pop another one of these There we go. Isn't that cute? So you can see how easy these cards, beautiful cards, are to whip up with this kit. Definitely get your, your hands on one if you haven't already got this kit. They're still available. They're only available for the next few days. It's um, only until the 31st, the 31st of May. So do make sure that you grab one of these kits. Now I've got a whole bunch of these cards to make up. So I'm going to jump off. It's only been a quickie today. 
that I'm going to jump off and see how many of these I can bang out before I need to go pick up Brian from daycare. And because, uh, you know, once he's home, it's all over Red Rover. But, um, yeah, definitely, definitely grab yourself one of these beautiful kits and have a go at the spritzing because it's a lot of fun and it's a really pretty effect. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for joining me, guys. I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Even if it is really chilly where, where we are as well. We're in just outside of Geelong and it is wet and it is cold and the dog is on the couch in front of the fire living the high life. But <laughs> I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you, Beck, and I will talk to you guys later. If you have any questions or queries at all, please feel free to contact me. This is Jessie Holton, your Stamping Up demonstrator for Australia, jessieholton.com, and have a lovely day. Bye.